We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But it's always best if we can avoid making those mistakes in the first place, right? Especially when it comes to your money and your retirement. Because if you make a mistake at this stage of the game, it could be too late for you to do anything about it. You won't be able to put the toothpaste back in the tube. Look, in our work, we see a lot of people who have made some, uh, Christy, I would say some terrible mistakes. Mistakes that cost them tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars. And we've summarized 10 of the most common retirement and retirement planning blunders that could have a huge impact on your retirement. For example, you could easily leave $100,000 of your hard-earned money on the table simply by failing to have the right strategy on how and when to take your Social Security benefits. Your spending power could be reduced to a fraction of what it is today to a point where you're pinching pennies at the tail end of your life just to get by. Wow. Or you could unnecessarily overpay your taxes by tens of thousands of dollars when you could have kept that money for yourself. Look, these are just a few examples. Today is your chance to learn how you can avoid those critical mistakes. On today's show, we're going to reveal the 10 most common retirement mistakes that we've come across, and more importantly, how to prevent them from costing you thousands. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. A little minute work there from like, what, 1980-something? You were probably still in high school when that song came out, Christy. That's how young you are. Today is National Suck Up to Your Boss Day. Did you know that? I thought every day was that. (laughs) You wish. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. We see so many. Before we start talking about mistakes that people make in retirement, Christy, um, we work with so many people. You've been doing this now for 19 plus years. I've been working with you now for a little over seven years. But I just had to tell you a story that's An example of the opposite of making mistakes. Now, I've not told her this story off the air, so she'll react to it the same way you will. Clients came to us. uh, Mark is his name. And Mark was planning to retire. His first day of retirement would be, I believe, August 2nd. So we just passed that. We met with him back in the spring. We put together a rock-solid income plan. And it was a pleasure to work with Mark and his wife. Well, I went and saw him a few days ago to sign some paperwork. I said, so Mark, what was the very first day of retirement like for you? After 39 years at one place, what was the first day like? And he said, you know, I got a funny story, Matt. It was Sunday night. And I always turn the TV off at 9 o'clock, get my clothes out of the drawer, put my clothes that I'm going to wear in the bathroom for the next morning so that when the alarm goes off at 4.30, I don't wake up my wife and I get ready for work. So 9 o'clock that Sunday night, I turned off the TV, went to the bedroom, took out my clothing. Then I realized, wait a second, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. He said, I put the clothes back in the drawer, went back in the living room, turned the TV on, and stayed up till 11 p.m. (laughs) But you know why he could do that? Because he had a plan. Right. And that is number one on the 10 biggest retirement blunders, not having a plan for your retirement money. When Mark and his wife came and met with us back in April, Christy, they came to a a social security workshop event we did. Then they met with us and Mark said, I've got X amount of dollars. I need X amount to live on. What should we do? That's the importance of having a plan. The reason he can be at peace today, he's got a plan. And often I recommend to to potential clients that come in to meet with me before retirement, you know, I recommend that they pretend like they're retired now, you know, while you're still working, live on the amount of money that you're going to need during retirement or, or get during retirement. And, and just, you know, I'll call it a trial run. That way, you know, that you can afford to actually retire. So, it's a great point. But in, in his case, you want to be in that position, folks, you want to be that person that can turn the TV back on and say, I don't have to go to work but not worry about not going to work. I think it's one of the hardest things in retirement, Christy, 
in my experience of working with people, is it takes a while to get over the nervousness of not working. I think sometimes it takes, you know, up to a month or two for people to really have that retirement reality sink in before they actually start enjoying it. Number one, just because they have to get out of the routine that they've been on for so long. But but it also gives them time to get adjusted to their yes. new uh, income. How is it going to come in? When is it going to come in? And for it to actually sink in that, you know, they could afford to retire. And can I add one thing before you go to number two? And there's a fear in not having that paycheck. So yeah. what we did for Mark and his wife was we set up uh, a three-tiered plan. They have an emergency fund, and they've got two income buckets, if you will, and that first income bucket is paying them now. The second one kicks in down the road. And they know they're always going to have reliable income. That's part of the plan. Well, and what you need to consider is how much money do you need to live on during retirement? Need in one or two different things. And once you know how much you need, create an income plan that gives you guaranteed retirement income, income that you cannot outlive. And so that's where we will use some of our indexed annuity strategies that have guaranteed income uh, Riders are are some up some plans don't even have a rider they're just included it's in the built plan in, right it's built in and you know these plans are designed to act just like your social security check they're just going to send your payment in the mail yeah you know, or in your bank put it in your bank account once a month uh, it is just as secure as that and so it, it does give you that that feeling of uh, comfort yeah. knowing you've got that income coming in now blunder number two and and Matt I I like this one because I I know it is a reality. Uh, forgetting about inflation when making a plan. Yeah, that's a huge retirement mistake. And we see that a lot of planners make this mistake. Uh, people will come in to meet with us. Maybe they had a plan drawn up some years ago, and the plan doesn't take into account inflation. All you need to know is that eggs, gas, and milk, eggs, bread, and milk, ain't what they were 20 years ago, and they won't be that cheap in 20 years. At the very least, retirees really need to make sure that their investments or, or their income plans are going to keep up with the inflation rate, Matt. This reminds me of a little 90-second commercial I saw the other day. It's, it's, I wish I could show this to you, but it's radio. We don't have pictures yet. But this is Ida Parisi. Ida Parisi lives in San Jose County, California, and she likes to play golf at the country club there at her hometown. Seven, I get it quite often. And I've gotten quite a few on 14. I just get them on the fly. I have a key to the gate, and any time I'm in the mood, I come out and play, even if it's by myself. I'm Ida Parachi. I was born here in San Jose. I live right on the practically number two hole on the golf course. I practically own this course. <laughs> Everybody says, here she comes. Just to get in the mood and so you're out here. And everybody knows I'm out here a good four or five days a week. <laughs> I'm 101. I am enjoying life. I really am. It's just coming day for day. Just being a good kid. That's right. <laughs> Life's not too shabby. Christy, she's now 102. She holds the San Jose Country Club course record with 11 holes in one. I mispronounced her name. Good Italian lady. Christy, she has 11 hole in ones. She's playing golf at 102. Do you think when she retired, she needed to take a inflation and a plan into account? I would say so, right? Right. I got the opportunity to watch that video the other day, Matt, and I tell you, it is really moving. But, you know, retiring is one thing, but actually staying retired, well, that's something altogether different. How will you generate income in your retirement? How will you ensure it lasts? How will you, how will you maintain your lifestyle? How will you stay in the same lifestyle that you're accustomed to being in 20, 25, 30 years from now. Or in her case, maybe 40 or 45. You can get the answers 
Wouldn't you love to be hitting holes in one when you're 102? And have a key to the clubhouse? You've got to plan. You get the answers to making a plan with our five-point retirement master plan. Here's what we're going to offer. Concrete steps to protecting your life savings. How to transform your savings into an income workhorse in retirement, like I did for Mark and his wife. How to potentially reduce taxes in retirement and keep this money for yourself. I mean, if you want to give it to the government, you can, but I would rather you keep it. Also, very important, how to wring every single nickel out of Social Security and earn additional benefits that could mean thousands of dollars more in your pocket during retirement. And we'll show you why so many traditional retirement plans fail today. This customized plan is specifically designed for you. There's no cost or obligation, so you've got nothing to lose. Now, if you've recently retired or you're within five years of retiring and you've saved at least 100000 for retirement, call us within the next five minutes to receive your five-point retirement master plan. Our number is 791-5773, 791 791- Five seven seven three seven nine one five seven seven three. This is Your Money Matters, presented by the Presley Group. I'm Matt Kennedy, along with Christy Smith. It's a pleasure to have you with us. We want to thank the sponsor of our show. That's the good folks at Plantation Car Wash. They're at 1615 South Range Avenue in Denham Springs. I rolled by there the other day, Christy, and they were covered up like bugs on the windshield. They were super busy on a Friday because it finally stopped raining, but... It rains on and off here to the point that you sit back and you say, wow, is it worth getting my car washed? Well, they have a cool deal at Plantation Car Wash. You pay one price. I think it starts at $19.95 a month. You pay one price, wash your car as much as you want. Anytime you want to whip in and wash the car, they'll do it. That's a good deal. From our good small business friends at Plantation Car Wash on Range Avenue, you'll find them about a mile north of the I-12. Now, this morning, we're talking about the 10 big retirement blunders that we find people make. So what what are they talking about? They're talking about mistakes. They're talking about mistakes that could cost you a a lot of money in retirement or, or maybe determine whether or not you should retire or not. You know, we've we've covered number one, and number one was not having a plan for retirement. Number two, forgetting about inflation. You know, I I was meeting with a couple last week, Matt, and we were talking about a pension because they were lucky. They actually, uh, the one of them is retiring from a company that still today offers a retirement pension. What a blessing. And, and it truly is a blessing. You know, the thing is, is that, you know, they're young. She's 61 years old. And when we think about retirement, we think, okay, she's going to retire at 61 years old. How long is she going to live? If she accepts the pension payment, which is a, is a nice payment and it's a nice benefit to have, but do you realize her retirement income will never increase? That's correct. Do you realize that that same $4,000 a month, is, is it's going to be the same exact amount in, in 10 years from now. Do you think it's likely she could live another 10 years? Uh, exactly. She could be playing golf at 102. And that's one of the beauties of a pension is the income is guaranteed. But the problem is there is no inflation adjustment. Even Social Security has an inflation adjustment. And, Christy, I found out just uh, last week that former employees of Alcatel-Lucent, Texaco, and some former energy and Gulf states workers, you're now getting, if you work for those companies at one time, you're now getting a packet in the mail for the first time ever giving you the option of taking your lump sum as a pension. It may or may not be the right call for you, but we can help you compare and contrast should you take the lump sum or take the pension payout. Now, with this couple, we were blessed because she had saved so much in her 401k that she's able to put that money into some plans that will offset for inflation in the future. Mm -hmm. But really, saving enough to, to generate retirement income is not the only issue. We do have to plan for inflation in the future. Now, blunder number four. Oh, you skipped number three, though. Oh, oh, and, I, and I, you know, Matt, number three is my favorite one. <laughs> Failing to save enough money for retirement. If you're about to retire, oh, I don't know, in six weeks, this is going to be a hard one to overcome. But if you're still five to ten years away from retirement, we'll spend a moment on number three. 
the best plan in the world. I don't care what magic wand Christy and Matt wave. The best plan in the world won't work if you haven't saved enough money for retirement. Christy, we are facing a retirement crisis in America, and the crisis is people are not saving. People aren't even getting the full match from their company plan. Well, and a lot of people think that they just can't afford to save. But the reality is you can't afford not to save. That's right. I I was literally talking to my daughter and future son-in-law recently because they're getting married in April. And, um, you know, her her fiancé works for Jacobs Engineering, and he's talking about how much he's saving into his 401K. And we're very blessed because he's young and he realizes the importance of saving. So he's putting in as much as he can into his 401K account. Now, on the other hand, my daughter's sitting in the background – him hawing, you know, yang yang is what I call it, <laughs> because she wants to spend money for the honeymoon. And and his concern is, you know, saving for their future, and hers is going to sandals in the Bahamas. And so, you know, the reality is, is that we have to, we have to pay ourselves. You know, I, I like to think that, you know, tithing, you know, that's, that's what we should do first. Yes. And then if we tithe, then pay ourselves, then pay the bills. Yeah. And, and that's kind of the peck in order that I use, but saving, saving enough is critical. If you, you, you really cannot afford not to save. And if you're under age 50, let us help you with a Roth IRA. Save your money tax-free or some tax-free income. I think Roths will be going away in the near future. I don't think the government can afford to give us the tax break. Well, and you don't have to be 50 to open up a Roth. That's you can, true. You can do it at any age. True. The reason you're saying 50 is because there's enough time to make Correct. it really beneficial for you to do that, right? All right. You got it. Mistake number four. These are the top 10 retirement and retirement planning mistakes. Number four. Rating your retirement accounts early. Oh, wow. We ju- I had a client who just did this, Matt. A loan? They took a loan or they took a withdrawal? No, they took a withdrawal. Well, Christy, in the seven years I've done this, I have found four people who've done this. Only four in seven years. That's not bad. But every one of them, if they could grow an extra foot, would kick themselves in the rear end. Taking money out of your retirement account, especially if you're not yet 59 and a half, means you've got to pay taxes and a 10% penalty. It is a huge no-no. You are better off standing on the side of the road with a solo cup asking for ones than you are taking money out of your 401k. Now, if you're taking money out of 401k for certain expenses, uh, like educational expenses, uh, the government would waive the penalty, the tax penalty for you to do that. So, you know, there's always some exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, you really don't want to touch your retirement money until you actually retire. All right, mistake number five. I personally love this one the best. I mean, it's a mistake, so I hate it. Well, saving saving enough money is my favorite. Okay, here's my favorite. Getting too emotional about your investments. Uh, This article comes to us from Forbes, and they write, Another big retirement blunder is poor investment behavior. Chuck Downs is a co-founder and wealth management expert in Miami. He owns his own company. He says, We live in a timing and selection uh, a timing and selection culture. And what happens is the market heads down and people panic and they head for the exits. Then they see all their friends making money when the market comes back and they jump back in the market. And guess what, Christy? The average person jumps back in at just the wrong time. The S&P, since the market meltdown of 2008, 2009, the S&P is back up like 200%. But the average investor has only averaged about 3% a year. Why? Because we get too emotional and we get in and we get out. That's why you and I love the fixed index annuity strategy because it's not designed to protect you when the market's down so you don't have to get emotional and get out, but it's designed to share in gains when the market's up and you can, you can set it and forget it. You don't have to be emotional about the investment. Now let's go to blunder number six. Being too conservative in investments. Wow, this one, this one's for me, Matt, because you know by nature how conservative I am with my own personal money. Yes. You know, one of the things that we do have to be cautious of is that if we're too conservative while we're young and saving, our returns, they may actually lag behind, uh, you know, like the S&P 500 benchmark, you know. 
we can't be too conservative when we're young. We have to have some growth potential. But that's why I have such a strong conviction about using fixed indexed annuities because they do allow me to link the performance of my account to an index without taking on the risk. Let's explain that so that for someone who's listening to us, maybe for the first or second time, an index annuity is a, an investment, if you will, held by an insurance company. I shouldn't use the word investment. It's a I, I like to say it's a glorified savings. It's a glorified savings account because the insurance company takes your money in and they put most of that money into fixed investments themselves, like treasuries and investment-grade corporate bonds. Then they use a small amount of that money to run a hedge fund and to link your returns to the stock market. So if the stock market goes down 25%, you don't lose a penny because the insurance company has a fixed portfolio that pays them and they stay in business. You don't lose. When the market goes up, you don't get all the gains. You share in the gains in the good years. But Christy, indexed annuities have averaged slightly over 5% a year for the last 16 years. So it's not a too-good-to-be-true product. People think it is. But if you can play by the rules, which require a holding period, and of course, all guarantees are based on the financial strength and issuing uh, and, and uh, claims of the issuing company. But provided we're using a good, strong, healthy company, you don't have to worry about losing your money. And not only that, Christy, in a super low interest rate environment, it prevents you from being too conservative. If CDs paid 6%, it w you wouldn't have a problem being conservative. But they don't. They pay 0.6%. And people think, because you and I see it every day, well, I have to be completely at safety in the bank making nothing, or I have to be in the market and be at risk. No, you don't. There is a middle ground. There's a hybrid plan that can give you potential without putting you at risk. You know, you need to learn about your options, and, and that's where we go back to having a financial plan. Um, or a retirement plan. Fixed indexed annuities may or may not be right for you, but you don't know it unless you, well, unless you know. You don't know what you don't know. Got to find out. You know, You're I was right. looking at how much money went into fixed indexed annuities uh, over the last quarter. I believe it was over $16 billion. A phenomenal amount. More and more people are learning that there is an alternative. I'll tell you this real quick, Christy. For years and years, I did what every guy does. I went to the store, and I bought that three-pack of Gillette razors, and I cringed every time I paid 15 bucks. Are you using the Shave Club now? So I went to Dollar Shave Club yeah. for $4. No, it's 6 I'm sorry. I signed up with the $6 plan. For 6 bucks a month, they send me four razors every month, which means I have a fresh new razor every week, and I'm paying a third of what I was paying. And I'm thinking, oh, wait, there is a different way to do it. It's not any different with us. There's a different way to do it. Because how is it that two different couples, they're similar in age, they've got the same amount of money, but they enjoy two totally different lifestyles in retirement. One stays at home all the time and gripes about not having money, and the other couple, well, they're off traveling the world. How does that happen? Find out with our five-point retirement master plan. In this plan, you're going to discover how to transform your current savings and investments into an income workhorse in retirement. How do you maximize your retirement income and minimize your risk? And that we'll get to in our next segment, but that's so critical that you aren't taking too much risk as you're closing in on retirement. How to wring every nickel out of your Social Security benefits and potentially receive additional benefits that you didn't even really know existed. That could literally mean thousands of dollars in your pocket each year. I worked with a couple last week, Christy, and we found an additional $67,000 of Social Security benefits over a seven-year period. By using a, a certain strategy, file and suspend and filing restricted, we are going to be able to find them an extra $67,000 in a seven-year period. Uh, that just makes us feel so good. In our five-point retirement master plan, we're going to also show you how you can legally reduce your taxes in retirement. I say we're going to show you that. We're going we're gonna to try to help you. You know, we're going to... We're going to teach you legal ways to reduce taxes in, in retirement. You know, when people talk to me about retirement income, they want to know how to save money in taxes, and there's not always a solution. But yeah. if there is, we're going to help you with that. We're also going to show you how to position and protect your retirement savings from inflation and the skyrocketing cost of health care. 
This must-have analysis, folks, we design it specifically for you. This is not some off-the-shelf thing that we just yawn and mail out. No. You call us, and we set up a meeting, a no-obligation meeting, and design a plan for you. No cost, no obligation. You've got nothing to lose. If you're recently retired or within five years of retiring, and you've saved at least $100,000 for retirement, call within the next five minutes for your five-point retirement master plan. Call us at 791-5773. That's 791-5773. 791-5773. Back with more of Your Money Matters in just a moment. This is Your Money Matters presented by the Presley Group. I'm Matt Kennedy along with Christy Smith. You can learn more about what we do online, safemoneyplan.net. Christy, has it been hot enough for you? You know, it's been hot, hot, hot. I I say it like that because we went to Georgia for my daughter to compete in a horse competition and they had a spirit night and one of the t-shirts, it was the team Georgia. They were wearing this yellow t-shirt with red hot chili peppers on it (laughs) and it said, we're running hot, hot, hot. I I just, I, it just made me laugh so much. I had to repeat it. Whew, I'm ready for football season. I'm ready for fall weather. I'm ready, uh, I'm ready for like a 71-degree day. It's ridiculous. Well, today we're talking about mistakes, blunders, if you will. I like that word, blunders. Mistakes that people make in retirement. Mistakes that can wreck your retirement. Mistakes that can mean if you're not careful, you'll be eating ramen noodles when you're 100 or maybe 70. And I like ramen noodles, but not for every meal. Hey, Matt, before you get started, uh-huh. when, we, when you talk about ramen noodles, I got to say last week, Rick and I took... Took Presley and a friend uh, to the Atlantis Hotel in the Bahamas, uh-huh. and in the convenience store that's located right outside the the, the walkway from the lobby to the towers. There's a little a, a little like gift shop, and yeah. it's got little snacks and stuff. But guess what? Their their uh, shelves were full of ramen noodles, and I thought I, love I even I even asked Rick. I'm like, why would they have so many? boxes of ramen noodles stacked up because they had them like cases of them stacked up on the floor. My husband says, because it costs so much to be here, you can only afford to eat ramen noodles. (laughs) Well, you don't want to be eating ramen noodles in retirement. So we're talking about the 10 biggest mistakes that in our 26 years of combined experience, we found number one, Not having a plan. Just saving money, but you've no plan for what to do with the money when you retire. Mistake number two, not taking into account inflation. I mean, think about it. I read the other day, Christy, that the price of eggs per dozen might jump to five bucks a dozen because there is this avian bird flu, whatever. And have you noticed eggs are like two eighty? Uh, do you shop or does Rick do the shopping? You know I don't do the shopping. Ricky You're just does being the shopping. Sarcastic. No, I'm not. Well, go home and ask Ricky. Ricky's her husband. Ask him how much he's paying for eggs. I'm shocked when I have to buy milk. <laughs> yeah, milk and eggs. Bottom line is things will only get more expensive. You've got to take inflation into account. So when you meet with us and we discuss a five point retirement master plan. One of those points is, how do we position your assets to combat inflation? Number three, failing to save enough for retirement. Number four, the fourth big mistake is rating your retirement accounts early. Number five, getting too emotional about investments. I call that one the market timing mistake, jumping in and out of the market. We see that a lot. Yep. Number six, being too conservative in investments. I met with a gentleman the other day, Christy. He said, let me tell you something, son. He said when the 9-11 attacks happened on September the 11th of 2001, he goes, the next day I went to cash and I've never gotten back into the stock market. I said, well, here's the bad news, sir. You've missed a lot of gains. Here's the good news. You didn't lose a penny in 2008. But he was really regretting that he had missed the big run up. And so we have to be careful about being too conservative. Now, let's wrap up the show with the final three big blunders. And And this one's big. Number seven. Missing an employer's 401k match. You know, the thing about a a 401k match is, you know, that's free money. And we would think that would be an easy decision. But you would be surprised how many people do not contribute to their 401k. Um, Financial Engines, which is an independent investment advisory firm out of California, they estimate that American workers miss out on about $24 billion per year 
in matching funds for their 401ks. Now, this is money that employers would have been depositing into retirement accounts if only the workers would have made their own contributions. $24 billion of free money. That is free money. Wow. Well, you've got... uh, Some administrations are hinting that maybe people should be forced into saving. I am not one for that. I, I'm not for believing, nor are you, that the government knows best. I think it's your responsibility to save. But if your company matches, uh, let's say, 50 cents on the dollar or dollar for dollar up to X percent, for heaven's sake, save up to X percent. Because anything you do below that, say, 6 percent level, you're losing money. It's crazy to lose money. Blunder number eight. Oh, this one's huge, Christy. I think this one is bigger now than ever. Letting all of your retirement money be taxable money. Uh, About two weeks ago, Kiplinger's Magazine. My wife got me a subscription for Christmas. How nice was that? Two weeks ago, they had an article about the retirement tax time bomb. And it says millions of Americans have saved billions of dollars, but they're waking up to a very rude discovery. They retire, and all of a sudden their taxes don't go down. You, we meet with people all the time, Christy. They come in, they've got a million, two million, three million dollars, and it's all taxable. And you have to tell them sorry, but every time you take a withdrawal, you have to pay taxes. And when you turn 70 and a half, Uncle Sam is going to make you take money. One of our strategies is to look at certainly by the time you're 60, beginning to convert some of your IRA money or 401k money into Roth IRAs. Now, one of the things that I'm seeing more and more often lately is that some of your bigger employers are now offering a Roth 401k. Genius. And so I believe that, you know, you should check into your company's plan and find out, do they have a Roth 401k available? The thing is, is that when you put money into a Roth account, you don't save money on your taxes today. But what happens is that that money will grow as long as it's sitting there, it's growing. And those gains are always going to be tax free unless you take them out within the first five years then then you would have to pay taxes on the gain right but you know when we're talking about retirement planning we're typically not talking about putting money in taking it all out in five years so a Roth IRA or a Roth 401k account is certainly something you should consider I'll give I'll tell you what I did with a gentleman who came in a few days ago he said man I'm a year away from retiring I'm sorry forgive me five years away from retiring he was late 50s And he said, the way it's going now, I'm putting, I think he was putting like 8% into his 401k and the company was matching uh, dollar for dollar up to 6%. And he was worried about market conditions and the stock market. So here's what I urged him to do, Christy. I urged him to cut his 401k contribution down to 6%. I mean, clearly he's got to get the match, right? Right. But that extra 2%, I told him, why don't you start funneling that into a Roth IRA because number one, we can position it so that it won't be at risk. And number two, yeah, you're going to lose the tax write-off now, but when you're 65 and you're done working or 62, you'll thank me because now you're going to have some money that is not taxable at all by the federal government. And that's a huge deal. So I'm not saying absolutely positively cut your 401k back to nothing, but you might want to pull the 401k back to where you're only getting the match and put money into a Roth. But please be warned, when you do that, you are losing some of the tax break today. Well, and not everyone is able to use a Roth can, a Roth IRA uh, because there are some income That's true. restrictions. We so have you want to you wanna check, on, uh, check on that to see if you qualify for a Roth IRA. But certainly if you do, you really should consider it, especially if you're planning on working another 5, 10 years. Now let's talk about those of you who are retired. I find that on this show, Christy, sometimes, and it's my fault, and I'll blame you some too, We're quick to throw out terms that we use every day because we're used to using these terms. It's what we've done for years. Uh, Five minutes ago, I mentioned required minimum distribution, and I find more confusion about those three letters. What is a required minimum distribution? So in an effort to make sure we slow down enough to help educate you, let's say you've saved and saved and saved, and you've got lots of money in a 401k, and you've left the job. 
you've got money in a 403B or an IRA or a simple IRA or a SEP IRA. Uncle Sam was so nice, Christy. For all those years, he didn't make you pay taxes. But eventually, he wants his skin, doesn't he? He does. And so what the government does is they force us to begin taking distributions out of those pre-tax accounts at age 70 and a half. And, and that's what we call required minimum distribution. Now, what determines how much do you have to take out? Two simple things. Number one, your age. And number two, the account value on December 31st of the previous year. But this is money that often becomes a tax burden to people in retirement because they don't need the money to live on, but yet they have to take it out. Often this causes them to pay a lot extra in taxes, uh, can even hike up their tax bracket. Absolutely. And so what we try to look at is, you know, ways to to offset that. Sometimes so I've had clients that did not need the money. And so what they did is, is they took the required minimum distribution, paid the taxes, and then, then they were able to buy a life insurance policy. They fund it using the required minimum distribution amount each year. And that allows them to, well, to have an account that's going to be paid to their beneficiaries tax free upon retirement. And so that will help pay the taxes on the rest of the IRA money when they yep, die. That's you it. know, it's all, it's all about having a plan. It's a strategy. It goes back to number one, right? Having a plan. Because it's real simple. We've said it before. We'll say it again. Retiring, that's one thing. But actually staying retired, no matter what happens in the markets or the economy, that's something altogether different. How are you going to generate income in retirement? It's kind of scary when the paycheck stops. So how do you generate your own paycheck? How will you ensure that that money lasts? How are you going to maintain your same lifestyle in retirement? And by the way, if you think you're only going to be retired 10 or so years, think again. The average American Christie is living 24 years in retirement. Here's how you get the answers with our five-point retirement master plan. Here's what we'll offer. In our five-point retirement master plan, you're going to discover concrete steps on how to protect your life savings, how to transform your savings into a guaranteed income in retirement. We're going to teach you how to potentially reduce your taxes in retirement and keep this money for yourself, how to wring every nickel out of your Social Security benefits and even additional benefits that could literally mean thousands of dollars more in your pocket every single year. And why so many retirement plans fail today. This customized plan is specifically designed just for you. There's no cost or obligation. You've got nothing to lose. If you've recently retired or you are within five years of already retiring and you've saved at least $100,000 for retirement, call us within the next five minutes to receive your five point retirement master plan. Our phone number is 791-5773. 791-5773. Again, if, if you're if you're not local, if you're, you know, in the surrounding areas, it's 800 791 5773 This is Your Money Matters, presented by the Presley Group. This is Your Money Matters, presented by the Presley Group. I'm Matt Kennedy along with Christy Smith. Could you be leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table, all because you failed to have a strategy on how and when to best claim your Social Security benefits? That's one of the 10 mistakes we've talked about this morning. Uh, Could you be over needlessly paying taxes, overpaying taxes to the IRS in retirement? That's another mistake we've talked about. We see a lot of different mistakes every single day. So far, we've been through the top eight mistakes. Let's deal with two more of them, Christy. The two will close the show with the two other big blunders that we often see, number nine and number 10. Number nine, Matt, is understanding health care expenses. You know, medical care can be a major expense in retirement, and unfortunately, it's one that's frequently overlooked. You know, people typically underestimate health care costs and how they're going to address them, White says in the article. And to avoid this retirement blunder, pre-retirees should review their Medicare options very carefully. They should determine uh, whether a Medicare Advantage plan or an original Medicare, uh, along with a Medicare supplement plan, uh, typically called a Medigap policy, would be 
a, a better option. Uh, you know, the thing is, is that Medicare does not cover everything. And so finding the right supplemental plan uh, can be very important. You know, open enrollment's coming up, I think, starting, what, October 1st? I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make regarding Medicare, and I've seen this while working with you and you've kind of taught me this, is the assumption that ah, Medicare covers everything and nothing could be further from the truth, right? Medicare doesn't cover everything. Well, and one of the things that um, unfortunately gets uh, overlooked is the fact that there there are rights that protect us as citizens on the Medicare um, program. And so people will make a decision when they turn 65 as to which plan is best. And then we find five years later, they're still on that plan, even though there may be some better options simply because they get in that comfort zone. They, yeah. you know, they think that they're taken care of. Why bother shopping? They think sometimes that maybe they can't change due to health conditions. And there's really a lot of provisions in the law that protect us as, as citizens. And so you do owe it to yourself to to not only determine what's going to be the best plan when you begin Medicare benefits, but it is something you should review annually. And I was going to ask you, with open enrollment coming up soon, what are the key things that someone who's already on Medicare, what are the key things they should shop for and, and get themselves out of that comfort zone? Well, for those that are on a traditional Medicare supplemental policy, what you have to understand is that you're not you're not shopping plan because you know, most companies sell the exact same plans. Uh, what you're shopping for is good company and price. And so if you're paying a monthly premium to be on a Medicare supplement plan, you want to make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. But I will tell you the Medicare Advantage plans that are available now have become very attractive. I know my dad was on one uh, before he passed away. And what's good about a Medicare Advantage plan is it typically covers pretty much all of your health care costs right. other than maybe some long-term care expenses. Um, your drug plan is included in your health your health benefits. And so a Medicare Advantage plan uh, will typically eliminate a monthly premium as well. So, you know, for those that are listening that are, you know, 70, 75 years old, your your Medicare supplement premium may be two, two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollars a month now mm -hmm. when you combine the drug coverage and the supplemental plan. You know, taking a look at a Medicare Advantage plan may be the right option for you. We do not sell Medicare plans. However, we know people who we trust, who we rely on. So if you have questions about Medicare, give us a call. As open enrollment approaches, don't hesitate to reach out to us. It's 225 791-5773. We have some associates in the business who we know and trust to lead you in the right direction, and we can help you with that. All right, Christy, last but not least, as we talk about the 10 blunders, the 10 big mistakes when it comes to retirement and retirement planning, last but certainly not least, filing for Social Security too early. So many people we see they either think, well, I can file at 62, I can file at 66, I can file at 70, and that's my only option. The stunning thing is, if you're married, there are 567 different ways, 567 different combinations for filing for Social Security. And the difference between filing for Social Security at 70 versus 62 is an astronomical amount of money. Everybody's situation is different, but you have to analyze how to get the most out of it. And Mr. Jones says in the article, Matt, that many people don't realize that just delaying Social Security for four additional years after their normal retirement age, that could result in 132% uh, of their of their monthly benefits, huge, and that's because the government gives retirees an extra eight percent for every year that they wait to claim their benefits up to age seventy. Now think about that. If we told you today that we had a CD paying eight percent a year, uh, guaranteed fixed CD, uh, how many of you would jump on that and and call the office right now? It's really no different. No, I mean, your not. benefit is growing by eight percent a year. Eight so percent just a strategy. Compounded. Yeah, eight percent compounded. There's there's no guaranteed money out there right now at eight percent. And married retirees, they can really they can coordinate their spousal benefits really to maximize their Social Security payments. I mean, you were just talking about file and suspend. There's a lot of different strategies that will enable a, a married couple to maximize those benefits. I, I've even been on appointments where 
uh, the wife was a homemaker. I, I was on one last night, actually. And, you know, she she doesn't work. She has only worked in the in the public for, you know, four or five years. So she doesn't have the necessary quarters paid in to collect, right? Right. And she didn't believe that she would get any Social Security benefit. And so just the fact that I was able to inform her that she would be able to draw off of her husband's Social Security benefit, um, well, that was exciting to her because he is at, at the max. So, I mean, she'll get over $1,000 a month, you know, based on her husband's benefit. But But think about that. Think about what you did for that family last night, right? You met yeah, with it's them. it's amazing. And they sat there thinking, well, we're going to have X number of dollars of Social Security. And you just told them, no, you're, you've got 12000 more a year than you thought you were going to have. Right. That's life-changing. I've met with people and found thirty and 40000 additional dollars because the husband would file and suspend. The wife would file or file a restricted application. Look, as long as the rules are in place that allow you to do these things— do it. And so we offer something called a Social Security Optimizer Report. It's part of our five-point retirement master plan. It is one of the most important things. If your present financial advisor, if you have one, if they are not talking to you about Social Security, it's time for a second opinion. Because, Christy, how is it that two different couples, they're similar in age, they've got the same amount of money, they may even live in the same neighborhood, but yet we see this all the time. They're enjoying two different retirements. One's barely scraping by and the other's doing just fine. It's because they've got a plan. They know how to maximize social security. You can do the same thing with our five point retirement master plan. And our master plan, our five point master plan is really designed uh, for your unique situation. This is a customized plan. In this plan, you're going to find ways to transform your current savings and investments into a guaranteed income in retirement. When I say guaranteed, I mean guaranteed for as long as you are a spouse or alive. And we can show you how to minimize your risk, how to wring every nickel out of your social security benefits and potentially receive additional uh, money. I mean, this is, this is big. It's huge. How can you legally reduce your taxes in retirement? If there's ways, we'll, we'll show you that. And how can we help you position and protect your retirement savings from inflation and the skyrocketing cost of health care? I mean, this is a jam packed report. And it's designed for you. This is not some cookie cutter off the shelf, you know, form that we send out. We sit down, we work together, we design a plan, a written plan for you. If you're currently retired or with, within, say, five years of retiring and you've saved at least $100,000 for retirement, give us a call. Call in the next five minutes and get your free five point retirement master plan. We're at 791 5773, the Presley Group, 225 791. 5773. That's 791 5773. God bless. See you next weekend.